Hello and welcome to another Wicked Gameplay video. Today I'm back in Euro Truck Simulator 2. I was just going to do this run but um, I started looking at the roads and thought this looked pretty interesting and I uh, thought why not share this on my channel as well. So I've just taken off um, from down here Um, and we're going to go up to, it's a pretty long trip, let's have a little look, it goes all the way up to Lazio, which is where we're, which is where we're going, so let's just see how we go, the trip is actually called, um, it doesn't actually tell me where it starts, so anyway, that's where we're going, let's hit, let's hit the road and see how we go, have a little look at our, i fixed my camera from last time, we're carrying this, uh, tractor, this looks like a bit of a squeezy, doesn't it? Yeah, this looks fun. Let's keep it wide here. We should be able to make this, I think. Oops. I think we're hitting something. Oh, we're hitting it, alright. Come on. <laughs> they really want to make these roads challenging don't they and we made it out of there all right so we rubbed a bit of paint off all right let's get out of here so let me adjust my mic there all righty what do we got here picturesque scenery Back on the ground, not in uh, X Plane 10 today. We're back driving big rigs. Where we have all our wheels on the ground. What's going on here? Uh, picnic and long grass. There's no boats out in the uh, in the lake there. No one's fishing. I've been looking at getting uh, the track IR. I currently use my mouse to look around. Uh, maybe I'll get track IR. It looks pretty good. I've tried some of the um, software options, like track no IR. <coughs> Excuse me. And. Um, yeah, well, it basically just tracks your face, but I don't really, it, it was actually pretty good, I mean, it's free, um, and kind of does an okay job, but just not accurate enough for, for me to really want to jump on board. I'd prefer to buy a proper solution. So here we are back again in TSM. Cruising along this dirt road here. At least she's flat. And as you know, uh, if you watched one of my previous videos, we kind of got stuck. Almost. We happened to make it back into. I think it was Reggio Calabria. We got a big rock here. Got my auto set up. The thing is, this is not even falling rocks. This is just boulders. Already on the road. It's insane. Alright, let's just get around this corner here. Oh, oh we hit some rocks there. Get out of the way, mate. You're going to get run over. I prefer the automatic, particularly because uh, these trucks actually came with automatics, I believe. So I prefer the automatic, especially uh, since I've got the uh, cheapest here. Well, I don't have a G27; it's the um, GT whatever. 
one that was kind of made for PlayStation, the Gran Turismo version. I think it's GT5 or something like that, Gran Turismo 5. And um, yeah, it's got the sequential gear shift, which is fine, but if you've got 18 gears, it's not, it's, it, it, I don't know. It just, I just don't like the way you have to change down, like sequentially down all the gears. You know, if you come to a set of traffic lights, you gotta like change all the way down. You can't skip gears, you can't just go jump down you know, five to, from tenth to fifth, you have to go all the way down each gear, so that's why I choose the, the real automatic setup. And they actually came out as automatic, so, you know, I kind of see it as being true to the simulation. <laughs> it's a pretty nice countryside here. What do we got here? Is this bitumen? Uh, we've got a rough road here. Yeah, she's rough, alright. Should I slow down or I think I'll just gun it? As long as no one else is coming the other way, we should be good. She's a bit rough. Oh, yeah. We're getting a bit of force. Horse feedback. Look at this. Look at this bit of road here. Hey, look at the roof there. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah. Kind of looks like we're upside down almost. All right. She's she's just pulling through here like nothing's happening. You got to give it to TSM. They actually yeah. Uh, they break up the monotony of an, of the normal roads. Oh yeah, she, she's not liking it. We're we getting a bit of force feedback through the steering wheel. Looks like we're going to hit the main road. Then it might be easy, pretty easy from there. Just cruising along. Oh, oh, oh. Stay dreaming a bit. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, there's a nice ship there out in the bay or in the ocean there. It's not really a bay, is it? Oh, we've got a car coming. Oh, just forgetting I have to get onto the right hand side since uh, I'm used to driving on the left hand side of the road in Australia. fuel have we got? We've got plenty of fuel. Don't need to sleep. We've got 377 kilometers to go. There's a hotel down there if we want to go to bed. But it is daytime and I'm not really tired so let's pedal to the metal and uh, get this delivery to its destination. Will this guy ever taken on corners? So I've got the trailer going over the white lines there. Bit of a reckless truck driver, aren't we? It's a bit hilly here. I think, yeah, we're driving a man today. I don't really know much about man trucks. She's white and just um, looking at doing one or two more trips. And getting the... Western Star and uh, showing you guys the Western Star in Euro Truck Simulator 2. Western Star is a obviously a mod, not part of the original game, but that's what I really love about these these games with mods in them. I've got a set of traffic lights here. Oh, it's this trap. Which way are we going? We're going left. Oh, we've got a green light, which is good. Seventy. What if that's seventy miles or seventy kilometers? I don't believe I have a speed limiter on. I think I've turned that off in off in the options. I hope so. So we're heading towards Roma here.
if you've seen any of my X-Plane videos, uh, Roma is where I've made my base in X-Plane 10. Well, not in X-Plane 10, so to speak. More with FS Economy, which is, is an economy engine for X-Plane, which kind of makes the game have that same kind of feeling as Euro Truck Simulator, where you actually have a reason for going from point A to point B because flight simulators just on their own if you don't really have a reason why why even go anywhere so you know it's it's actually pretty cool to play a scenario rather than just saying oh, I'm flying here or I'm flying there and you know you'd imagine just driving around endlessly in uh, Euro Truck Simulator with without any reason to take this load here you, it just wouldn't be the same so earning money and um, buying trucks upgrading is kind of what FS economy is to explain you know being able to buy equipment and, and upgrade and make money in the game which is pretty cool which is why I actually like playing uh, explain We've got a bit of speed up here. We've got a bit too much speed, maybe. Just back it off. Now, have I got my... Yep, I've got my jag brake set up. More ships over there? Got to be careful. It's pretty easy to go off the road. Looks like there was ships over there. Oops, there we go can't look left for a second this is where I need track IR make my life a bit easier bit of a windy road we've got the white man going Basilicata. It's kind of weird driving the truck from here. Yeah, oh, well, let's just cut across the road. Cut this lane. It's quite a quite a windy road. It's kind of weird driving with the uh, different cameras. The roof view. It's quite loud the front wheel there. <laughs> oh, he's a bit wobbly. Can I get around this corner without slowing down? So we're going around about 70. It's fine. Had a pretty straight run. Nice weather outside. Very cool. No one in the servo. There's a couple of cars there just buying a chocolate. Chocolate bar. <laughs> no one needs fuel. So what do we got here? We got 70 Ks. I think trucks are supposed to be in the left. Was that truck supposed to be in the Did it say left lane? What's going on here? Oh, we got a bit of rough road. Thought I saw a car next to me. Oh, God, what did they put on this road? Man, you need sunnies for this road. Look how slow these guys are going. Pretty bumpy, though. But I think they're, uh... It's unnecessary to go that slow. So we're going to keep the pedal to the metal. Probably should have my, yep, until I get my track IR, have that mirror on the outside. What do we got here? Yep, now seriously, which council, they call them councils here in Australia that do the roads, I don't know. Uh, which government department leaves a road in that condition? Main highway, that's insane. 
someone is not doing their job. One of the guys probably uh, had a need to pave his backyard. Decided he'd take all that um, cement, gravel, bitumen. I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to go up. These guys are extremely slow, so I'm going to be a bit reckless. Oh, I'm going to run into trouble here. Can I get across? Can I? Yep, I think I can. Yep, beautiful. Let's keep it going. No broken down trucks today. Absolutely love that. That time where I saw the uh, fan of truck on fire in TSM. If you haven't seen that yet, it's on one of my uh, other videos. You'll see there's a truck on fire. Pretty cool. Really like that. So we're just cruising along here with 200 kilometers to go. It's pretty standard roads around here. We're just going to uh, keep the pace going. Well, we've got the rev limiter off. We're doing just over a uh, 100 kilometers. Oops, got my blinker on. I'm going to get this going. There's not a lot to really look at around here. It's just pretty typical highway. We're going to make it a bit of adventure by having a bit of speed and see if that makes a difference to our trip. We're not here to be safe drivers. We're here to be fun drivers. Hey, buddy. So we're straight ahead. Uh, where are we off to here? Well, it looks like there's a toll booth. We're flying in here. Wish there was like booths that you could just drive through. Why do we have to actually stop? Can't they just have like an automatic tag? So we have here in Sydney. Which is where I'm from. You just have automatic tags. You don't need to stop. We didn't even pay anything. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Oh, we're covering some ground. We've got 172 k's to go. Let's see, uh, Bari, Foggy, we've been there. Roma, straight ahead. So that's all systems go. So we're cruising along. That's a volcano. Look at that. It's a smoking volcano. There's actually flames coming out of the top of that thing. Trying to make sure I don't crash. Oh. Look at that. Smoking volcano. <laughs> oh, and I got fined. Oh well. It happens. Uh, where are we going? Oh, we're going to go this way. We do have to get off here. The road kind of looked like it wasn't going straight there for a second. On the map? Alright. Around the curve here. Keep the power down. Oh, she's sticking to the road like glue. And we're coming up to another tolls. Got a truck coming up behind us here. I see um, the guys that developed Euro Truck Simulator, SCS Soft, I think they're called. Creating the, uh, finally got the rights to 
create a Mercedes Actros MP4, which is cool. I really like that truck. I'm going to be adding that to the game, so I'm really looking forward to that. I mean, there's already some mods out there, but they're going to be adding a one of the trucks designed and developed by those guys into the game. So, and, you know, that, they do a, a, a fantastic job, you know, with the rendering and the textures, I should say, not the rendering. The textures in the interior and stuff, it's very real, very believable. It's very cool. All right, a bit of focus here before I take this car out. So we're heading to Roma Centro. Centro. Oops. Am I supposed to give away here? Hey, 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 hey. Well, we're we going left here. All right, cool. Made it through the lights without incurring a fine. Alrighty. We go on to the right over here. Well, this is kind of a bit of an interesting drive, just coming through Napoli here. Now, what I actually wouldn't mind doing, though, is um, I want to see what this. what's hidden there. You can see there on the map. So, we're just going to take a slight detour. We're going to uncover those. In case it's a, another truck dealer, which one of them will most likely be recruitment, the other one will be a truck dealer. Since we haven't done that many trips in the TSM map, um, I haven't unlocked many, so there's not that many options with trucks. I want to try and unlock those while there's an opportunity. Alrighty, we're looking pretty good here. No one coming straight. Let's just swing it around the corner here. What do we got? What do we got here? This looks like a recruitment office. So it is. Let's try and get through these lights here. Oh, it looks like I might be losing some frame rates. It's a bit sketchy. What I might do while we're here is the graphics. We might just um, turn them down just a bit just to make sure we're not losing any frames. That's while we're recording. Definitely doesn't look as good, even just at one setting. But all in the interest of saving frames. So what do we got there? There we go. We got a Volvo dealer. It's an outdoor one. Uh, yep. There's. I'm looking for the Western Star, which is not in the Volvo dealer. get back on the main road can we get across here yep all right let's get across here she's a lovely the amount of traffic very realistic come on buddy this kind of reminds me of the Sydney traffic oh god these guys turning look at this guy Oh, you're an idiot. You're an absolute idiot. Alright, well, let's just jump in the other lane while we can. Oh, yeah, I do have a mirror there. Just seeing how close I can get to that car, and he's down in my blind spot. It's pretty funny. Small cars get hidden behind the bonnets of... Uh, big rigs especially uh, not so much with the cab over 
But if you have a long nose, like a Mac or a Peterbilt, they can easily get hit in behind the behind the the long behind the bonnet. And you literally cannot see them anymore, and you might not even realise they're there. How close can we get to this guy? Oh, I got him. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Let's go. I just nudged him. Alright, see if this guy wants to let me in. Oh, yeah, he doesn't want to let me in. No, he's going to let me in. Get on you, mate. for these lights. How's this guy out in the front there? Alright, we've got to go ahead. Look at this guy. He's going to let me... Oh, oh, you idiot. You're an idiot. Look, did you believe this guy? You're a moron. It really is like driving on Sydney roads. So we've got 144Ks to go. Coming through the tunnel here. Seems like a bit of a low tunnel, but that could be just because we're in a truck. I wonder if they... Um, well, they probably should have, like... Uh, like bridges and stuff that you just can't go under in certain types of trucks like the uh, refrigerated trucks for example have bridges that you couldn't get under, get under so you have to go a different way <laughs> could be kind of cool I'm wondering what else they can do to, to the Euro Truck Simulator to create even a more immersive experience kind of feel like recruitment is a bit well I mean it doesn't matter who you recruit it's just recruit who you want I'll just stop looking at any of their skills anymore or how much they earn or or how much they want to get paid I should say not how much they earn but how much they want to get paid I just hire anybody it just doesn't seem to make any difference so I mean, you can fire people, but doesn't seem to be much point, to be honest. They all kind of seem like they're doing a reasonable job. So I think the hiring of uh, drivers in Euro Truck Simulator, there's probably something there to be improved on. It's going to change lanes then, but... Oh, we've got a big ship out there, like that. Big tanker. Stay off the fence, buddy. <laughs> look at it here. Oops, going into the other lane. Look at the look at the uh, grass here. Got a very golden colour. Um, we're starting to get tired as well, so I'm hoping that we can... Yeah, we've only got 91 k's to go. We should be able to make it to uh, our destination. Is that too much drama? I was trying to... Uh, what I'd like to do is... Obviously... Not sleep before we uh, need to get there. So 91 k's, 81 k's now. Not far to go. What is going on here? It looks like there's been a head-on. There'd be another thing. We could. The cars just fell apart when they head-on, and there was cops. That's what they need. <laughs> ambulance, like an ambulance, hold up. You know, have people sitting on the side of the road for an hour. Oh, we got a car coming up here. Can we just upset this guy? Oh. Oh, come on, mate. That was my fault. I'm right with that. 
Just teaching him a lesson. Got some some more roadworks. What's going on there? See, this looks a little bit like Australia, although we're not. It's obviously in Europe <laughs> since it's called Euro Truck Simulator. But um, yeah, it's kind of got that sort of Australian tree look. The gum trees, not as round, like in terms of the. Uh, how far the branches come out from the trees, but look at this road, how cool is this? This black kind of bitumen. Attenzione, it means attention. Since we're going across Italy. Can I can I wing it out here? Oops, no, there's some roadworks. Oh come on. Oh, yeah, we've got a couple of cars behind us. Let's get going. I wonder what happens if you drive your truck into there. Can you actually get in there? Probably something I'll try at some point. Should we have a take? It's going pretty slow, so I'm going to give it a go. Look at that. I've just flown past him. Let's get back in. 47 k's to go, we're almost home. Hey, look at those clouds, look menacing. Is it gonna rain? The server where there's two cars. There's bushland here. Some mountains. But this place has got everything. It's got water on the side, it's what it's got like an oil rig over there. Uh, we've got bushland, some mountains. It's got it all. Prime real estate. Come on, come on. We've got a truck driver on the road who's getting impatient. Should we go around him? Nope. <laughs> I don't think so. That would have been, uh, wouldn't have turned out so well. I can actually see through the bus though. That's pretty cool. Can actually see through the bus and see through his windows. This guy's turning. No, he's not turning. He's just staying in the outs in the left, in the right lane. Sorry. I was thinking left lane because, as I said, in Australia it's left, even though we're drawing the right hand, right hand side of the road. Someone pulling over to the side of the road closest to the edge is generally left in Australia. So we're almost in Lazio or Lazio. I wonder what that's how that's pronounced exactly. And I'm wondering what the um, parking situation is going to be like. Don't look forward to parking. Here we are. We've discovered it. Oops. Got a big truck coming, big rig coming down the road. Oh, thanks, mate. Actually, stop for us, fellow trucky. Um, all right, where are we off to here? So we're just going to get into the right-hand lane here. Looks like we're doing a right-hand turn, going around the block. Alrighty, these roundabouts can be tricky with the uh, other traffic. Yeah, what do we got here? Truck dealer? Daff. Hmm, I'm wondering if this is where the Western Star is.
and if you don't know, with a mod, often uh, truck mods will replace an existing truck, so you know they have to use one of the places from one of the dealerships to put a Peterbilt or a or a Kenworth, or a, in this case, it's a Western Star. So, oops, up the curb. I'm also interested in uh, checking out the Freightliner, which could be interesting. I'm just uh, getting tired, I think. It's getting pretty late here in Sydney. Alright, what what's this for? Um, it's not looking so good, is it? Uh, I think I'll go up the curb here. We'll try and reverse it in there. Can't actually, can't actually see. I think we better really swing this thing. I don't think that's going to work too well. I think we're going to hit the fence. Yeah, we're not even close. So what I'm going to do here is just swing it over to the other side of the road. It's going to be challenging. Look at these guys. You idiot. Alright, let's swing this around here. Come on, mate. Give us a break. Have a little quick look on this side. It's not very patient, are they? Is there a truck there to hit? So just straighten up the cabin here. Oops. Well, we're doing a pretty, pretty crappy job so far. Got to see where that parking spot is. Where is it? Oh wow! <laughs> We're not even close. All right, let's give it another go. All right, let's get it going the other way. Too close to this fence here. Probably going to be hearing my um, steering wheel just screaming a bit. We're starting to look good. To skip parking now, we're not going to skip parking at all. We are parking this baby. Just as well you can stick your head out the window. as well it's a standard trailer and there we go we've done it so how'd we go um, we done it all no damage got the bonus of 300 and we go to level 4 I'm gonna get fragile cargo because I want to keep my trips a bit shorter and there we go. Done and dusted for another Euro Truck Simulator. I still don't have my own truck yet. Well, there we go. I guess uh, I'll have to purchase a truck. I'm going to find one of those dealers. I'm hoping that next time 
I will be in a Western Star. Not a Western Star. Yeah, actually, it is a Western Star. So if we have a look at what else, if I don't, can't buy a truck yet, depending on my loan, I think I'll be able to get a loan. So, um, actually, why don't we just have a real quick look here for a truck. Truck dealers. I think it might be in the DAF dealer. Where is that DAF dealer? This one here. Let's have a little visit. Let's see if it is in here. Not in here. Not in the DAF dealer. Just making sure what else was there. Uh, what else have we unlocked? The Renault. I don't think it's at the Renault dealer. Let's quick look for a Renault dealer. Uh, pretty sure it's not at the Renault dealer. Could be an Iveco, maybe. What do we got here? No, it's not at the Renault dealer. Let's just quick check of uh, last couple of dealers. Um, I don't think it was in the Scania. So let's have a look in the Volvo. See if that's what we're going to be doing next time. Pretty cool music they got in this game. No. So, no, I don't know where this um, Western Star is. I, it, it's got to be in one of the other dealers, um, obviously. <laughs> um, so, the only ones left is Iveco. I don't think it's in the Mercedes slash Majestic. So, yeah, that's a bit strange. We'll just double check. It's not in the Scania dealer. So I'll have to do a quick run around and see if I can find the last two dealers. Oh, here we go. It's here. Now this was the other issues because I've just started this profile. I am um, don't think I can unlock it yet. Oh yes, I can. It's got this kind of weird wheel set up here. Okay, well what we'll do is um, look at this. This looks pretty weird. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of more like it. So what we're going to be doing is next trip oh, I'm going to get my hands on this uh, Western Star and uh, we'll check it out a bit more and as you can see is because I've started a new profile a lot of my stuff's still locked so I'm not going to get be able to customize it as maybe as much as I'd like and um, show you what this thing's all about like still got the standard wheels the cool Western Star wheels but anyway that's something we can have a play around with next time. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, thumbs up. Want to see more of this kind of content? This Euro Truck Simulator and X Plane 10 at the moment is what I'm playing a lot of. If you want to see more of that kind of content, subscribe. And I'm also going to be playing any other games coming soon. Maybe War Games. I think it's Red Dragon, Red Dragon War Games or something like that. Thinking about getting that or some other games. So something we can definitely look at. Always interested to see what um, what you guys want to see as well. So give us feedback in the comments. All right. Thanks for spending time and watching this video with us. And we'll catch you on the next one.